His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. With a special guest this morning, he is Pat Barrett with us on His Morning Crew. Yeah, he's the author of the song, Good Good Father. And he's married to Megan. And I don't know you yet, Pat, you very don't. well. You no. But I like you. Thank Let you. me tell you why. <laughs> because... You're coming up in 10th anniversary of your epic proposal, and I did, oh. did some digging, and I found all of the pictures from that beautiful night. I cannot believe I'm seeing pictures of my proposal <laughs> right now. Because you must be a very romantic guy to pull this thing off. Tell people about it. There were a lot of oh steps and people and the setting involved. Oh, my word. This is crazy. That Look at my hair. <laughs> You no did have one, some cool yeah, hair. Yeah, a couple things I didn't think about, obviously. That hairdo. Um, <laughs> we, oh my gosh, my whole family. There there he is. I look like I'm wearing a wig right now. I just <laughs> can't get over that. Like a I look like I'm in a rock brush. band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you could see it on his radio TV, it's almost bust, uh, Dustin, uh, Justin Bieber-like back yeah. in the day. Yeah? I look like I'm in Journey. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, don't stop believing. So, I know, exactly. So, this proposal, I... I actually started proposing to my wife months before this. Like I had these frames. I gave her a frame for her. Um, I can't remember the, when the first frame came. But but it said, I will not assume to have reached love's limits <laughs> simply by the presence of our familiarity. Oh, dude, you're sappy. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I mean, And then she got the second frame. Yeah. And the poem continued. And then, and then when I proposed to her, I got someone to go into her apartment and steal those frames back and I gave her all three of them and it was like the proposal. Melt. So Melt. it took everybody to pull that off. But I think it was, yeah, we, look at this. This is crazy. I get, you guys are creepily, <laughs> what else do you have oh, on me? How much dirt are you we bringing We got a half right hour now? stuff on you, buddy. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, and of course things are getting a little crazy at your house now because she said yes, she which said is what yes. everyone knows. Yes, she did. You got married. Yes, we did. You're living happily ever after now with three kids. <laughs> three kids. And the youngest one just started walking. <laughs> yeah! But this was a little exciting for you guys. Tell us the backstory. We, I mean, first off, when I became a dad, I just assumed I would feel like a dad, like I, how I assume my dad felt. And instead, what I feel is, oh my gosh, I'm the same person. Now I just have three little tinies to take mm. care of all the time. So our youngest, Cash, is, he is just like a little joy bomb mm. and... He's like that all the time. I mean, he's just smiling, laughing. When he started walking, my wife, we were saying this earlier, my wife went away on a girls' weekend, and as she was leaving, he started walking. So dad, with all three kids, and now one of them, it was, it was a panic attack. I only for three days. That. Yeah, yeah, only for three days. Was she mad that she missed it? Or no, she you didn't miss terrified? it. Okay, she didn't miss it. Okay, I was more terrified when she she abandoned me <laughs> as it started for her little her fun weekend, carefree fun weekend. Yeah. Okay, walking now. <laughs> Bye. See ya. You're in yeah, charge. Yeah, exactly. I tell you, the one thing you probably don't know about Pat Barrett is that he's written a ton of songs. One of them is with a group called the uh, Crew Cuts. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, if you Google Pat Barrett, you've done this, right? I had someone tell me about it, then I had to. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what is the revelation about you? You had no idea about yourself. Um, well, the secret, it's essential oils. It's, <laughs> okay. Uh, it really is. It's hard to divulge them all. But um, I, don't, I was actually on tour with Chris Tomlin in Canada, and I had a security guard come up to me. And he goes, uh, hey, man, I just want you to know... Uh, I googled your name and apparently you're 85. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> That's what he said. And then he, I was like, I was confused. But after that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like comedic gold. And I hope no one ever changes that. I know, right? No it's, one write in. It's his picture, September 15th, 1933, age 85 years old. Yep. I am sorry, but evidently you must have. Oh no, the crew cuts. You guys disbanded in 1964. I'm, I'm praying for a reunion. Yeah, it was a sad day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely imagine. Along with us this morning is Pat Barrett. You'll learn a little bit more about this song that you're already singing in church, Build My Life. Pat Barrett on his radio.